a bodybuilder at its root is concerned with self-development through self-mastery. Everybody's on steroids. Everybody. Look at the guys in the Olympia stage. And you're hitting a pose. And, and then you're like... <sighs> when it comes to talking about what choice should be made, is that unenhanced bodybuilding is the way to go. This is time right now for natural bodybuilding to grow, where everybody's seeing that health is the most important thing. I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. So, um, how you been, man? Uh, you know, we see each other all the time, you know what I'm saying? But we haven't actually talked on a record, like on a camera for a while. So how, how you yeah, been? Yeah, yeah. 20, man, through the whole pandemic and everything. Oh, good. I mean, it was, it was uh, as good as it can be. I have to say, because uh, we were healthy, my family members were healthy, a lot of my friends were healthy, and then on the contrary, it was more uh, financial for a lot of people, you know, a lot of financial burdens, uh, yeah. people went through it, uh, a lot of struggling, a lot of just uh, reawakenings for a lot of people, because they realize, uh, man, I need to step it up financially. Because uh, a lot of people weren't prepared, and uh, especially me with a lot of kids, you know, a lot of kids and, and dealing with the boredom with my kids. I think that was hard because I felt bad, you know, There's so much you can do. Yeah, it's you crazy. Know? Man. You know, you know, I hear like uh, some people said it made them hustle harder. You know what I mean? Like when this whole thing. Hey, like, did, did, do you agree with that? Or because sometimes you don't have that, that, that way to hustle if you don't have the plan. You know what I mean? That's what it is, and that's why I mentioned that, because it put a lot of people in a corner that, you know, when they say in the uh, art of war, you put somebody in a the corner, they're going to fight harder than they ever fought in their lives, mm -hmm. because you have to get out of that bind. And uh, I think it did work out for a lot of people that do have that inner hustle in them. And uh, I was one of them. I had to really, you know get out there. I mean, after spending three weeks at home, I couldn't take it anymore. I mean, I had to say, you know what? Corona, here I come. So I think, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't catch it. Uh, maybe Corona caught me because I was out there every day, man. I, I trained whoever, whenever. Um, I still did my work online, but um, I still think uh, the hustle was, you know, I had to wake it up. You know, yeah. and a lot of people yeah. did, and, and I'm glad they, they worked out. So you know how it is. A lot of people made money. A lot of people lost money. Yeah. And the and the ones that really woke up used used the pandemic as uh as a way to pay mm -hmm. you know to really get their hustle up. It really worked out for them. So you know, in the fitness industry, right? Obviously, a lot of people are very macho, right? So you you hear a lot of things of people kind of downplaying the virus, right? They're saying that it's some people call it fake pandemic. Some people call it, you know, the mask thing. They don't want to wear the mask. They, 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 they saying it's actually worse for you than the virus. I mean, do you have an opinion on this or do you kind of just ignore it? I mean, with the mask, I hate the mask. You know, I hate wearing the mask. I hardly wear the mask. I wear the mask a, a, a more as a respectful way to other people right. that, that do wear it, you know, I have to wear it in the gym, otherwise they won't let me in. You know, um, I go to a gym that doesn't allow or doesn't care whether you wear a mask or not. That's the kind of gym I go to, mm -hmm. you know. So as far as being fake, I mean, that's just a whole big giant, you know, conspiracy because a lot of people that said it was fake, then they caught it. I think it, it really, uh, you know, it caught them hard, you know, mm -hmm. it caught them hard to wake them up. And next thing you know, they're erasing their past, you know, comments on Instagram, Facebook, because now they caught it. So now they're like, oh, shit, it got me. You know, so it, it, it sunned them, you know, yeah. <laughs> it made them into, you know, yeah, yeah. Give them a good slap in the freaking, you know, in the, in the you know, health system. And then they are, uh, you know, it just killed them, you know, it killed them, fucked them up. But, uh, I don't think it's fake. Yes, I mean, it's just, uh, it happened. I think the whole thing about making it fake, obviously, was just because of, it, it got too political. It yeah, was the cool. most political virus ever in history, and mm -hmm. uh, it got too political, and you know how it is. When there's no war um, in a country, 
the country gets divided within itself. And uh, that's exactly what happened. You know, it got political. Uh, people weren't believing it. A lot of people still are. You know, I, I see people wearing double masks, you know, gloves, shades, you know, visors. I mean, the whole nine yards. Meanwhile, you're still going to get it, you know. You're still going to get it. I mean, the more you fear it, the more it's more, most likely to happen to you. Um, I'm not afraid of it. If, if it's going to happen, you know, I want to fight the hell out of it. If it's not, you know what, then whatever gravy, you know, but um, I'm not going to bow down to a virus and I'm not going to bow down to all these restrictions given to you by the government because, uh, you know, we're supposed to be a free country, no? Absolutely. What about vaccinations? Um, there's also a debate about vaccinations going on. Some people say yeah. I get it. Some people saying don't get it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I read a lot of histories on vaccines. Uh, most vaccines take centuries to actually make, to actually work, to actually be effective. So to come up with a vaccine within a few months, um, that right there, I just don't trust. I mean, it, it's just, uh, I'm not going to trust it because government said to trust, you know? I mean, I, I don't trust government, period. You know, I mean, they, they lie to their own comfort. You know, they, they uh, do many things that's more for them unless we really fight hard to get anything on our side for the people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's experimental. You know, everybody who's doing the vaccine for the first year is just an experiment. I mean, I have doctors who don't believe in it. I have doctors that do believe in it. And uh, it's you know what? You go ahead. I'm not going to criticize you. I'm not going to, you know, say anything negative on your decision to do it. But I'm going to wait, you know, because uh, I'm one who's uh, been anti-vaccine ever since, you know, uh, one of the things that was linked to autism. And it's still argue, uh, it, it, you know, people still argue it that vaccines had to do with it. So. Actually, I was going to ask you about that because I, I know, obviously, you know, you, you are part of the foundation, the Autism Foundation, and it affects you personally. But um, is there actually, did they prove that there was a link between the vaccinations and autism? Or is that it, like 50-50? It's still 50-50. They argue it. They don't. I mean, my son's grandmother, she, she said to uh, my son's mother not to give him the vaccines that he needed when he was around three months old or, or four, four, four months old, whatever. Um, she begged her not to do it. She went behind her back. She did the vaccine. And then she noticed the changes in my son, you know, slowly fading her, his eye contact. So, you know, on my personal experience, I think they do. Um, um, many people, I, I think, is just, uh, you know, denial. And the other people is just the why are so many kids being born with autism since the 70s and 80s and, and before it wasn't as, as mm -hmm. much you know so mm -hmm. it's argued uh, you, you can argue it people are arguing it it is 50 50 um i'm not going to take the corona vaccine i mean if i have to because it's the job and i have to make money and it's going to restrict me from flying or entering a certain place i mean i'll do it you know but it's not anything that i trust i believe and I would do on my own just because, 